Attach to clean, dry skin using a prosthetic adhesive such as Prosade and apply the glue to the skin and gently press down in the middle to attach. Stretch the edges out gently by grabbing the silicon border. Use a little 99% alcohol around the edge to peel the silicon border away, leaving a very thin edge stuck to the skin. Apply thin washes of makeup to blend the piece into the skin and create the desired effect. I recommend using alcohol based colours such as Skin Illustrator, although you can thin cream makeups using alcohol or surgical spirit. Now you're ready for your close up. With gelatine you don't apply cat plastic to the mould, so there are no edges other than those of the feather thin gelatine around the edge. Apply by putting a prosthetic adhesive onto the skin. In addition, you could also help the bond by applying a thin layer of glue to the underside of the piece, keeping back from the edges. Lightly position the piece and press firmly to attach when you're happy with the position. Apply glue to the skin in any areas where it isn't stuck. Pull any flashing still attached to the gelatine away using witch hazel if you like. This melts the gelatine allowing it to come away more easily. If there are any edges which have been glued but which don't want to stay stuck, apply a little 99% alcohol to reactivate the glue and help the thin edges stay down. Alcohol does not affect gelatine and it will evaporate allowing the newly positioned edge to remain in place. Once you've stuck down what you can, melt any remaining edges with witch hazel. If you want to at this stage, you can add a sealer to protect the gelatine from moisture. There are a number of different brands available such as Krylon's Fixer Spray, Green Marble by PPI or Final Seal by Ben Nye which is what I'm using here. Brush it or sponge it on and allow it to dry. To colour, apply thin washes to adjust the piece to better match the skin whilst preserving the translucency that gelatine provides. Washes can be built up gradually to nudge the piece closer to the skin tone on which the piece sits. Fake blood or blood coloured makeup can now be added to the wound area to punch up the contrast. And finally, add some blood to complete the effect. To remove the appliances, rub at an edge with a wet wipe to lift it, and then use a prosthetic adhesive remover to unstick the glue. For larger pieces, it may be easier to use a large art brush and gently work the piece from behind to remove it. Remember to take extra care near the eyes, which should remain closed during removal. Once the appliances have been removed, you can see that the fine edges necessary for a good blend into the skin will inevitably be damaged by the removal process and it makes them unsuitable for being reused. It is usual to have a fresh appliance for each application. For more information, be sure to check out your free download by clicking on the link below.